Hey guys, welcome back. First things first, let's reverse hollow. Another change from Dark Souls 1 is the level of hollowing. The more times you die without using a human effigy, the more hollow you become, and you will start to lose some max life. Your max life bar will start going down. You may have noticed it went down just a little bit there. So anyway, there's still a few things we can do here in this uh, hub area. There's a merchant right here. Uh, oh. uh, hello there. Welcome to my uh, shop. I'm Morlin, and I, uh, I sell armor. Oh, sorry, I... Please do have a look at my wares. I could really use the business. If you'd be so kind. The more things you buy from this guy, the more he will start offering new stuff to buy. Right now, it's some pretty basic stuff. Nothing that really interests me. Possibly the shield requires 10 strength to use. There's not a whole lot of... How do I... Ah, here we go. It was there. There's not a whole lot of 100% physical block shields in Dark Souls 2. Like this iron parma is only 85%. The silver eagle cut shield is only 90%. I thought that I thought that was 100%. I guess it wasn't. Well, I, 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 do hope I, see you again. I might actually want a shield, really. And then up here we have a chest that has a titanite shard. Upgrade materials. This big massive hole will be going down later on. This is the locked door. Yes. We'll get that key in the next area. If you hit this rock into the well, it brings up the bucket with the corpse on it that's holding an SS flash shard. This is how you... Well, I still don't even have the SS flask. That's how you upgrade your Estus flask usages. And then back here... Ah, dang it. I got him after me. There's these really hard to hit pig enemies. They have a rare chance of dropping... I think Cracked Red Eye works. So I guess you can say this hub area isn't completely safe. If these things if you consider these things to be a threat. They don't do very much damage and you have to actually get close to them to aggro them. You have a lot of life though. Does look like there have been people killed by them though. Or no, they're running and falling in a hole. And there is nothing back here besides messages. Okay, next building has another merchant. A talking cat. Oh, I'm dead, are we? And one without much time remaining. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. <laughs> well, suit yourself. Oh yes, you may call me Shalqua. Enchante. So, what did you want anyway? smell wonderful. 
And you can also check your covenant level here. There is a ring. This ring of whispers. This is going to be very important later on. Way too expensive for me to buy right now. Sells homeward bones, prism stones, alluring skulls, and wood talismans. Nothing suited you, I presume. Not really interesting to me at the moment. What's this? A life show. If we go down here, this leads to one of the first areas. But there is there is a shield that I can pick up down here. This is actually kind of meant to be the second area to go to. But you can go here first if you want. It is a little more difficult than the uh, other area that's actually meant to be first. Crimson Parma. Seventy-five percent physical damage reduction. What's the stability? Thirty-five. It's just slightly better than that short sword. It's only five points better than the scimitar. Uh we'll go ahead and put it on. And this, the first time I've ever played Dark Souls 2. This switch, it took me forever to find this thing. I just thought this was a dead end. Soul of a Lost Undead and a Broken Thief Sword. I guess I could go light the bonfire here. These knights are passive until you attack them or defeat the first boss in this area. These bigger guys aren't though. Let's see what kind of damage my sword does on these guys. Oh yes, I can handle this guy. Oh, he hits a little harder than I thought he was going to. And I don't have my SS flask yet. It didn't drop anything for me. This bonfire took me forever to find. I skipped over this so many times. I never knew there was a bonfire down here. I'd say it took me probably four playthroughs before I found it. I felt so dumb when I found it for the first time. So I was making the trip from this bonfire I'm warping to all the way to the boss of this area. That's a long walk. That's something else that's new in Dark Souls 2. You can warp between bonfires immediately. And it is every bonfire in the game, not just a select few. Are you the next monarch? Or merely a pawn of fate? Bearer of the curse. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. Okay, we have our Estus flask. Go on and see the king. He who made Drangleic what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendrin. We also level up with her instead of at a bonfire. Of the curse. Seek misery. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. Actually, before I level up, let's use these consumable souls. You can use multiple straight out of your inventory. That's another change from Dark Souls 1. Seek 
those whose names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me. So that hope will not fade away. Dark Souls 2, we don't have to waste time playing around with bells or anything. We just go straight for the four Lord Souls. Here, let me see it. So that I may help you. To see light. To see hope. However faint it might be. Okay, we will upgrade our Estus Flask. You just start out with one use. You have to find the Estus Shards to increase your uses. So it takes a while to get a stockpile of them. Luckily, we can find life gems pretty easily. Okay, so. Wow, four vigor. That is low. Strength's at nine. It'd be nice to bring that up to ten. Vigor, that's way too low. Yeah, that gives me almost a hundred points in life just by... Increasing at three levels. I think I might do that. We'll get Vigor to at least ten before I upgrade anything else. Okay, there's a few more things we can pick up here before we start the next area. Um, no? Here, maybe? No, I guess not. There's a covenant we can join up here. You're undead, aren't you? You have that distinct scent, the smell of irreversible fate. Why is everybody smelling me? This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement, a place where life is. Almost normal. And in Dran Lake these days, there are very few places like that. I am Solden. There's a guy like this in and every I one do. of the Souls games. I, lost everything. I think he's voiced by the same did. guy as well, even in Demon Souls. Probably Except for Dark Souls 3, they had a different voice actor the for the guy yeah. in that one. That's not true at all. There's nothing here for you. Ooh. The crestfallen oh, NPC. Do you know much about souls? Even I'm not certain, but... I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? To be alive, to walk this earth. That's the real curse, right there. We undead will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. There are four beings in this land with giant souls. And wherever you go from here, you'll sooner or later come up against them. Each has a powerful soul and a terrible curse. If that frightens you, then you ought to just give up right now. Do you ever cry out for help? The journey of the undead is long and treacherous. You will face invaders from other worlds at every turn. If you need help... And that is true, because in Dark Souls 2, you don't even need to be human to be invaded. You can get invaded at any time. When you face danger, I believe if you are human, you have a higher chance of getting invaded, but... Protection is yours, if you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. Sure, why not? I think you get a ring from this. 
But the way the blue does is if you do get invaded, it has a chance to summon a blue sentinel to come and help you. But the blue sentinels watch over us in their benevolence. I don't think I've ever actually had that happen. Sentinels cradle you in their Usually I join another covenant almost immediately anyway. And then this marks the amount of deaths worldwide, I'm guessing, since the game's been released. What is that? 197,187,902 deaths worldwide. See how long it takes to update. 197, 187, 919. 929. Seriously, 10 people died just right then. 930. That was only one. 931. Only one. There's six more. That is insane. There's still this many people playing this. 939. 944. Wow. I didn't know this game was still that active. And then back here. I don't know what this is all about. It always says these letters are worn beyond recognition. I don't think it ever changes. That is a really neat view. Okay, that ring we got. So let's check that out. I think it just increases life. Increases HP slightly. And we can use it. Let's see, is there anything back here? Yes. Solve a nameless soldier and three life gems. We might be able to level up one more time. And here's the blacksmith. The hollow oh, blacksmith. Just help me open this door. Or maybe he's just green. I packed my tools in here, seeing it was vacant. But now somebody's gone and locked the door. We'll get the key later on from another merchant in the next area we're coming to. Let's use that soul I picked up real quick and see if I can level up one more time. Oh yeah, I don't think it's going to cost any more than 1,400 souls. Put it in vigor, I guess. It gives me 30 points of HP. That's not bad at all. Okay, so I guess we're ready to start the first area as soon as I equip my Essence Flask. Two usages. And we can put the life gems there too. Okay, the first area is down here. There's a chest back here. Now this is a chest that turns into a mimic in New Game Plus. It got me the first time. That's probably why that says monster right there. It got me the first time I ever went into New Game Plus. Once you finish the first playthrough, your next changes quite a bit. There's a quite a few new enemies, like red phantom enemies. And chest contents change, some of them. You can find complete new items. I think there's even certain bosses that drop different boss souls. Okay, cross the bridge. And if we go down here, there's a chest. And we can also make that jump across to the item. I'm gonna take the safe way and come back behind it to get it. So very died once to jumping. We go back here and pick it up. And 
it was. Homeward Bone and Soul of the Lost Undead. Oh, hello. Goodbye. I'm gonna avoid this ogre because he doesn't drop anything besides souls. And I really don't want to fight him in that river anyway. Now this first little area here is actually kind of irritating to get through without taking damage. There's quite a few ranged attacks. And you have to deal with these guys too. But there's a bonfire just right there. It seems like there's more bonfires in Dark Souls 2 than there was in 1 as well. Let's see, this might be a pretty good place to stop this video. Because we're still quite a ways off from the next bonfire. So I think I'll do that. And I will see you guys next time.